Well, guys, the last time we talked about a runtime that's super short was Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and many people are coming out of that film saying, yeah, it needed more time. Well, now, here we are again, and we're going to talk about the runtime for Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, damn it. Here we go again. All right, guys, look, I'm going to be real with you. I was one of the people that was very worried about the runtime of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I talked about it plenty. I said what I said. In my opinion, I'm glad I was wrong because, as I've stated before, in my personal ranking of films I enjoy the most, it's my second favorite MCU film. I love it. I thought the runtime was great, and they did exactly what they needed to with the runtime. So going into Thor Love and Thunder... I'm not going to argue about runtimes anymore. I just don't care. I'm just going to let them make the film they make. And if I like it, I like it. The runtime worked. If it didn't, whatever. So let's talk about it. Well, we've had our first official listing that popped up online for Thor Love and Thunder. Again, we've seen these before. They can be placeholders. So keep that in mind. A lot of times they turn out to be true. So, you know, um, you decide whether you trust it or not. So a couple runtimes have popped up. Uh, the most um, used one is 115 minutes, meaning an hour and 55 minutes, meaning that with the credits, you're looking at about an hour and 47 minutes of total runtime. That's rapid. Again, that's a very quick film, but we don't know. We just have no idea, like I said, so that could honestly work for it. The other runtime we've seen that's been listed on only one place, and this is one UK chain, listing 140 minutes, 2 hours and 20 minutes, meaning around 2 hours and 10 minutes complete runtime. So if we follow the previous pattern of it's going to land somewhere in between the two, typically closer to the uh, shorter runtime, I'm willing to say you're probably looking at 2 hours, 2 hours and 5 minutes. Again... I'm not going to complain. I learned my lesson recently, so I'm good. Um, I don't mind this. Again, I think there's a lot less going on in Thor Love and Thunder than there was in Doctor Strange. But you just got to trust the director and the studio to put out the best film that they can. And I do want to point out that Thor Ragnarok is two hours and ten minutes. So, you know, it's not exactly the longest film. It's not the shortest, but... It's that sweet spot, I think. So with the credits removed, it's like, what, two hours on the dot? That's not bad. Five minutes up or down from that, take it or leave it. I'm cool with it. Um, I just want them to confirm the official runtime, but we're still so far out. We're probably not going to know the official runtime till like three weeks before release. You know, when the tickets go on sale, that's when we'll get a better idea. So what is your guys' take on this? How do you feel about this runtime? 